Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin and today I'm doing a get ready with me. Um, I am talking about traveling, I am talking about wedding planning, talking about TV shows, talking about axe throwing, like all kinds of stuff in today's video. So um, grab a snack, hang out, do your own makeup and routine and get ready, whatever you want along with this video. But um, if any of that sounds interesting to you or you just want something on in the background, keep on watching. Before we get too far into the video, please if you haven't already click that subscribe button. I upload new videos on Wednesdays and Sundays twice a week. It's totally free to subscribe and it'll really help out me and the channel. And if you're already subscribed, thank you so much and click that like button. So here is the final look. Let's go ahead and go back in time to me with no makeup and get started. All right, so as with a lot of my get ready with me's, I'm not gonna be talking specifically about the products I am using, but as always, I will of course list everything that I am using in the description so that if you're interested, you will be able to find it. Before we get into what's going on with me, how are you? What's going on in your life? Is there anything exciting? Um, has it been super cold where you live? I know it is where I live. There's been a wind chill advisory three times this week where with the wind chill it's gotten down to negative 15 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> so it's very chilly. Um, but have you been busy? Have you been relaxing? Do you have anything upcoming you're kind of looking forward to? Let me know in the comments down below. I am getting ready right now because Wesley and I have friends coming over. They're also a couple and we're kind of having like a couple's day date type thing. And they're traveling from out of town to come see us. And we're gonna go ax throwing. I've never done that before, but it sounded fun. And there's a place here in town where Wesley and I live that have ax throwing. So we're gonna go try that for the first time. And then they're gonna stay for dinner. Um, I think that's really the real reason they're coming over is, um, I think I've told you guys, I got Wesley. Yeah, I showed you in the vlog. Um, I'll link the vlog if you haven't seen it yet, my latest one. Um, Wesley, that hibachi flat top thing for Christmas. And he's been bragging to all his friends about it and how much he enjoys it. So essentially I think, <laughs> He invited this couple, our friends, over so that he could cook for them on it and be like, oh, it's so good, it tastes like real hibachi, all this stuff, and they're like, really? So he bought all this stuff to make like chicken and steak hibachi for them at our house tonight. So we've just been doing house cleaning and things like that this morning to prepare for them to get here. And now I'm getting ready, obviously. And I think Wesley and I are, are gonna go to the store because when he went to the store to shop for the hibachi ingredients, he didn't know um, how early they were gonna get here. And it sounds like they're gonna get here early enough that we don't want like a full heavy lunch, but we're just gonna want something kind of to snack on. So I want to do a charcuterie board. I have a really nice big one that my parents got me for my birthday last summer. And I love to pull it out any chance I get to. So unfortunately, I, I usually have stuff on stock like meats and cheeses and stuff for boards, but I really have nothing here at the house right now. So as soon as I'm done getting ready, we're gonna go pick up some stuff before they get here. Other than that, I have been working insane amounts of hours lately. <laughs> um, not this week though, you'll see in the upcoming vlog, this is gonna go up before that vlog, but um, because it's been so cold and wintry and snowy and icy, we've actually had school canceled quite a few times recently. But even when there's not school, that doesn't necessarily mean I'm not working because sometimes I'm working like concession stands at the basketball games. That's a fundraiser for our show choir. We're in the middle of musical season. I am the drama director. So sometimes we still have rehearsals after school or different parent communications that need to happen. It's just been, it's been a lot lately. So I'm trying to stay afloat, keep my head above water at work, but this is how it is kind of every year this, this time of year. It's just a busy season for me. So I try not to get too stressed because I know like this is just how it always is and I just have to get through this kind of busy season and it'll be fine then. 
I'll probably be busy like this until oh about mid-March and then it'll get a little less crazy after the the performance for the the musical is over when the musical is over I'm actually gonna be traveling in May to Florida the marching band is going on a trip and then I've told you guys this before but I've been waiting and waiting and waiting looking forward to going to Japan the global studies teacher at my school arranges international trips and I was gonna chaperone and do all that and then the trip got postponed it was supposed to happen last summer I thought last summer would be the perfect time to do it because it was the first summer that I wasn't in summer school for my master's degree. I graduated and I also turned 30 last summer. So I was like, this would be a great, you know, kind of present to myself for good job, you finished your degree and celebrate turning 30. Well, then it got postponed. So now it's supposed to happen this year um, in May at the end of the school year, like right after we get out of school. Well, I found out this past week it's not happening, sadly. Um, apparently, the travel agency has decided they're just not doing any trips to China or Southeast Asia, so Japan is out. It's not happening. So there's a couple options. They will give you part of your money back, but they keep a non-refundable deposit, and it's a pretty big chunk, so I don't really want to do that, although we could use the money for the wedding. I don't want to lose like that deposit. So they are looking at us potentially still traveling during those dates, but to a different location, so not Japan. Um, I know they're looking at Indonesia, like Peru, um, but she also said there was a possibility of Greece, which if there's anywhere else that I would want to go that wasn't Japan, I'd vote for Greece. And I told her as much, and she said a lot of people actually agreed with me, so she's trying for that. So it sounds like I still may be traveling somewhere in May, but I don't know. Like, I'm going somewhere internationally. It's an adventure, right? Not Japan. That teacher said she really does want to go to Japan. She's never been, so maybe sometime in the future she can um, arrange another trip to Japan, you know, five, six, seven years down the road. Um, in years of teaching, I'm still relatively young, like I'm nowhere near retiring, obviously, so I think as long as I still want to go to Japan, which I can't see myself not wanting to go, there, it sounds like, will be sometime in my lifetime, in my future, another opportunity. So that made me not like super, super sad. I'm disappointed, but again, I'm just kind of like, the fact that we'll get to travel will make me happy. It's been so long since I've gotten to go anywhere with COVID that just the fact that I would get to travel somewhere is exciting to me. Beyond that, Wesley and I have tried to start doing some wedding planning. Um, we went to this event in town where they basically have like a bunch of vendors that are caterers, florists, venues, uh, invitations, photos, like anything wedding related, you name it. They have vendors that gather at this event. So we went just because I was like, you know, we haven't made really a lot of decisions. Maybe this would just be a good like square one for us to kind of see like what options and what's available in our area. So we did do that and went and gathered info. Have I done anything with that info? No, it's in a stack of information sitting downstairs. But like I said, it's been so busy lately that I feel like I don't even have time to invest to sit down to play and stuff. And I know people are like, wait, you've been engaged like two months. You don't have a date yet? No, we don't. Like there's venues I wanna visit too I have in mind in the area that I think would be good, but I want Wesley to see them too. And he kind of, like he actually wants to be involved and make choices and decisions with me about it. He's not one of those guys that's just like, whatever, make the choices and I'll be there on the day. He actually like has a say and an opinion, which I was kind of surprised about. Like, I don't mind, but I kind of thought he would be like one of those guys that's like, whatever you want. Um, but he wants to see the places too and have us decide together. So it's been hard to schedule trying to figure out like when to do all that stuff. So if nothing else, we're not in a super big hurry, especially because like COVID's not fantastic <laughs> right now. So um, I 
nothing else, we just won't pick a date or really plan until school's out and I'm back for my trips and in the summer when I have more time, because um, it's my schedule that's the hold up, not his, then we can make some more plans and see some more things and make decisions in the summer. Ooh, I haven't used this palette yet. I got it in the Black Friday sale and haven't touched it yet and I wanna play with it today. So nothing too exciting other than that, just because it is extremely cold in Ohio right now, and uh, Wesley and I are basically, when we're not at work, we're home buddies. Like, we don't want to go anywhere. We don't want to see anybody, <laughs> with the exception of today, obviously. This is like, uh, you know, once or twice a year ordeal with our friends that we might get together and do like a couple's date like this. Um, and these are the friends, if you watch my... Uh, last get ready with me I'll leave that linked as well in case you're interested that they helped Wesley in concealing his little secret plan to propose to me these are those friends that, that we're seeing and hanging out with today so we are very close to them they're an engaged couple too and they're getting married in November and Wesley and I are both going to be part of their wedding party so they are good friends of ours and the rest of the time, like, it's cold, we're inside. We love hanging out with the cats. The cats are all good. I think you guys got some good cat content in the last vlog, too. Um, they've adjusted well to each other, finally, with Garfield being the new addition. And Wesley and I pretty much just come home, and we like cooking, and we've been watching a lot of shows. like. In the summer, I love going on walks in the evening when he gets off work, so it's nice. I like to go outside, get fresh air, some exercise, but when it's cold, we just kind of bundle up and like binge watch and catch up on all of our shows. So that's what we've been doing. Um, we watched all of WandaVision, which Wesley was kind of like meh about, and I agree there were like slower places in the show. It's on Disney+, Plus, but I really wanted to see it. Um, because, I mean, Scarlet Witch is fine, but I really love, um, oh my gosh, what's his name? He was Jarvis, he has the Infinity Stone, whatever, um, man, I can't think of his name in the character. You guys will have to tell me in the comments. It's on the tip of my tongue. Vision. I don't know why I couldn't think of that. He's one of my favorites. Um, I wanted to see it because Vision is in it, and Vision is technically, spoiler alert, skip like 30 seconds if you don't want it ruined. Vision's like technically not alive like he's dead so I was very curious to see what they were doing with him in that series being that I'm like wait a minute he's not alive like what's happening so that was interesting and then we also watched on Disney plus the low-key series now Wesley did like that one more I love that too Owen Wilson is amazing um, so check that out if you haven't yet so the only things Marvel wise I haven't seen yet are the Black Widow movie which I know is on Disney plus so I need to watch that um, the Winter Soldier and Hawkeye and, or no, it's The Winter Soldier and, and Falcon and Hawkeye, those series I haven't watched, which Wesley says he's not interested in, which is fine. So I'll just watch those on my own at some point. And then Wesley went and saw the new Spider-Man movie with his friends. I was busy. I had to do concessions. So I haven't seen it yet and I really need to, but I would like to watch the amazing Spider-Man movies before that because I never saw those. I've seen, of course, the old ones with Tobey Maguire, but I'd never seen the amazing Spider-Man ones. So I want to see those before the new Spider-Man movie. And Wesley said he would watch them with me. We are big, big Marvel people. Um, and other than that, once we finish those, um, we watched all of Boba Fett on, on Disney+. Plus. We love The Mandalorian, have been watching all of, well not have been watching, like we finished those. And then we've been watching weekly as it's been coming out Boba Fett, which that's when you know it's a good series for us because we usually wait till the whole season is out just so we have it and don't have to wait for the next week. No, this is so good that we've been like tuning in weekly. So that is a really good one I would recommend if you like Star Wars or The Mandalorian. The Mandalorian actually is in Boba Fett as well, we found out this week, which is amazing. And then while we're waiting for more Boba Fett um, episodes to come out, we have been also finally watching The Witcher Season 2, which is great, but there's only eight episodes. I can't, there's just not, it's not enough. It's just not enough, y'all. 
tell me if you agree. I'm sure if you love that kind of stuff, then you agree with me. Sorry if you aren't into these types of TV shows. Like, I know I'm talking about a bunch of things all in the same vein, but if you don't, I'd be curious to know, like, is there a certain genre of TV show that you really, really enjoy? Because mine is definitely like geeky sci-fi type stuff. Um, but I also really like a lot of the, I just haven't found a good one lately, of the like NCIS, Bones, Castle, like Dexter's a little bit of a different, but you know, same sort of like detective investigative series. I like that kind of stuff too, but I usually watch that on my own. Wesley's not super into that stuff. I was also watching on my own um, all of the Star Treks. I'm very into Star Trek. Like, more so than Star Wars, honestly. Um, and I have watched all of the original Star Trek. I've watched all of The Next Generation. I've watched all of Deep Space Nine. And I was up to Voyager. And I was watching it on Hulu. And darn it all, if Stingin' Paramount Plus didn't say, oh, well, we're going to call that back to, you know, Paramount Plus is Paramount. Yeah, Paramount Plus, new streaming service. They are like, that's going to be on that now. So it's not going to be on Hulu or Netflix or anywhere else. And I had not finished the series yet. So I'm trying to figure out if there's a way that I can find it anywhere and not have to get Paramount Plus because Wesley and I already have Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, and Disney Plus. And we do not want to add one single more streaming service. We had Apple TV as well, we weren't paying for it, but when I got my new iPhone, we got just a year free of it because I got a new iPhone. And let me tell you, in that entire year, we didn't use it a single time. So I see stuff advertised all the time that says it's on there that looks good, but I don't know, I just never really like reached for or clicked on that one when it came down to it. So I didn't like re-up it or anything once the free subscription ended. I would be curious to know which streaming service is your favorite. Which ones do you have? I definitely watch Netflix the most. Hulu's pretty close. Um, Wes and I together have been watching Disney Plus more with, with just that Marvel and um, Star Wars content specifically. But yeah, I mean, we don't use the Amazon video that much, but it comes with Amazon Prime that Wesley gets. I figured if worse came to worst, most of those streaming services do some kind of like, I don't know, seven or 10 day free trial or something like that. But I figured if worse came to worse, um, I would wait till summer and maybe get a free trial and try to binge watch the rest of it in like a week or something like that. I don't know, or maybe bite the bullet and just like get it for a month or so until I actually finish the series. But the thing is, there's more Star Trek series after that that I want to watch. But I don't want to pay for another streaming service because I haven't seen um, the Enterprise series. And I know like obviously they are coming out with Picard and Discovery right now. And I want to see them all. I just do, okay? So, I don't know. I'm going to have to figure it out. I can't talk here for a minute while I do my eyeliner because it's liquid eyeliner and I could be betrayed very quickly. We made it. Just wanted to add a little brown liner there to that. I really, I really liked how this palette turned out. I mean, I bought now three Give Me Glow palettes because I got the Bad Witch and the Juicy Olive and the Christmas morning ones, but I, this is the first I've actually used any of those that I bought. I know, I know, I'm trying to be better, you know? That's why, like, I hope you guys are okay with, um, like, more of this kind of content, because I am trying to do more, like, get ready with me's and things like that to use what I have instead of, oh, buying new stuff all the time. I did buy a couple ColourPop Super Shocks from the recent release they did where they like came back with some oldies like Ripple that I never had the chance to get the first time around and I got three of them. But even Wesley said like, hey, I can tell like there's less boxes showing up to the house, um, which is a good thing because he gets so tired of like boxes piling up and breaking them down and the recycling and all that stuff, which I totally get. 
and he was like well it seems like you have done better with having less stuff coming in but he said I haven't seen a lot going out and I was like well he's calling me out so I was like well I did just do an empties video recently with you guys and I have a few things I've finished since then but I'm gonna save up my empties a little bit more before I do my next video for that but I truly am trying to just use the stuff that I have and not buy anything um, too over the top because my collection size is it's not obscene I, I'm not gonna say that but it's it is above the normal person's makeup collection I do recognize that but I also feel like like most people don't do YouTube channel like info and content on makeup you know what I mean so I'm okay with it being the size it is now but I don't really want it to get any bigger I saw um, somebody that is another creator uh, Starlight Beauty 3 she has a channel that's like similarly sized to mine but she did something that I thought was great she just did inventory as far as like number of bronzers number of blushes number of whatever so that she could try to have numbers at the beginning of the year um, and not let it get bigger than that number by the end of the year and hopefully have the number be smaller which I thought that was kind of interesting because I know I've done videos where I've shown you guys my whole collection of you know bronzers or highlighters or blushes or whatever but I don't have just like one, um, what's the word I'm putting for, a composite? I don't know if that's the right word. You know, one place where all that information is compiled together. Um, and I think that would be interesting to do. So I think I might go through my collection and actually count and kind of do a tally just to have that and try to do the same thing. Let me know if you're interested in that as like a video to see like the numbers and like goals I might have or make or if not that's fine I'll just kind of do it on my own off camera oh she's a she's a bold lip okay first time I'm trying this product this is the Revlon color stay satin ink in uh raining red okay I didn't think it would be that dark but that's okay I got sent this from influencers so I'm just trying to test it out I don't go for a red often, but when I do, I like a darker one like this. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it yet. I'll have to test it out a bit more, see if it dries down and all that. Well, I unintentionally have done a Christmas look, I do believe, <laughs> red and green. Um, matches, matches my outdated backdrop, right? I will say, I did uh, finally, finally get a new backdrop that's got like some hearts and stuff for kind of the Valentine season. So the backdrop will be changing shortly. All right, guys, and here is the final look for me to uh, go out and axe throwing, make a little cheese board, have a little bachi dinner at home with my friends. I hope you had fun hanging out. I really enjoyed talking to you guys. I feel like it's been, well, I don't feel like it has been like two months since I did one of these get ready with me. So I really enjoyed talking to you and I can't wait to hear how you're all doing in the comments below. Hope to see you again on the next one. Bye.